Winning Cures Everything. Now for your hosts, Gary and Chris. Welcome in, welcome in. Winning Cures Everything, college football top 10 rankings, and our college football playoff predictions after week 10. I'm Gary. I'm Chris. You can find us over at winningcureseverything.com. Of course, not a whole lot changed this week, but you can find more stuff over there. Winningcureseverything.com has got our social media platforms, YouTube, our podcasts, etc. So go check that out. You can follow us on Twitter. You can follow us on Facebook. Uh, you can find everything about Tunica, Mississippi's incredible sports books. They are the South's premier sports gambling destination. You can find them over at tunicatravel.com. So go check them out. They, uh, they've they got great stuff in the works at all times, great golf courses, etc. So go check them out, tunicatravel.com. Chris, let's fire into this thing. Uh, I'll, I'll go ahead with my top 10, and, and then we'll get yours. I'll run through from number 10 on. Number 10, I've got the Oklahoma Sooners. They didn't play this past weekend, but I, I think the loss last week looks a little bit better with Kansas State absolutely dominating on the road at Kansas uh, no, Kansas is not a great team, but this was a letdown spot. The fact that Kansas State beat up Kansas makes you feel better about Oklahoma is weird to me. At, hey, it may change next week. Like This is a week-to-week sport. It is what it is. So Oklahoma, number 10. Number 9, I've got Utah. Utah going in and getting that win at Seattle. That's a big win. And it was the last real test for Utah before the Pac-12 uh, title game. Uh, unless unless you saw uh, UCLA keeps it rolling, right? And we'll see what happens with that. But, um, so UCLA 9, number 8, I've got Oregon. So, I I like two Pac-12 teams in the top 10 right now. Oregon dismantled USC. Demolished. And that was at USC. So, I like Oregon there. Number 7, I've got Baylor. Uh, Didn't look great, but they did survive, and that is what you have to do when you're a great team. Sometimes you have to survive a crappy performance. They did that. And November sets up to be fantastic. They, they've got TCU left, who is not fantastic by any means, but still a viable threat. They've also got Oklahoma. They've also got Texas left. So we will see what they end up doing. But as of right now, they are undefeated, and they've got some really good wins. Their non-conference is jack crap, but that's okay because they've they got some good wins uh, that have proven to be good wins. So Baylor at number seven, number six, Georgia. Georgia is... Uh, they're a good football team. They're just a good football team, and they've got great talent and whatnot, and if they ever just open up the offense and let Jake Fromm and Cager and that bunch do what they need to do, they will win a lot of football games, as they are doing right now. They got caught by South Carolina. Win expectancy at the end of that, Georgia would win that game 92% of the time when they had the exact same stats. So turnovers cost them in that one. But I like Georgia at number six. Number five, Penn State. Penn State's offense, maybe not as... Uh, efficient as you would like for them to be but the defense is outstanding outstanding it's going to be a good matchup with minnesota uh we'll see if minnesota is for real i don't have them in my top 10 right now just because of their competition but they have dominated everybody i'll be curious to see what they look like at home against penn state this week number four i've got alabama uh i changed this up i had alabama three last week but clemson is starting to roll here i've got clemson at three this week i've got lsu at two and i've got ohio state at one uh, and those really, for the most part, did not change. So go ahead and, and tell me what you've got. I know that uh, that you don't like my top ten, and that's okay. But no. but this no. is uh, this I is who think, I'm rolling with. I think, I think the fact that Clemson beating the hell out of Wofford moved them up in your rankings to teams that didn't play is just funny to me. Well, last week I really I just find that I find that comical. I I didn't I I felt. Because, and then you you know hang on you knock you you knock. Minnesota don't even have them in here because of the level of their competition and their strength of schedule is harder than Clemson's. That's I find that funny. I find that humorous. That that's okay. That's fine. That's <laughs> but that's why you got a top ten from yeah. from one team to the other based on how you want to judge every team and that's weird to me. Well, that's I you. You've got a top my- ten and I've got a top ten. So right. we'll let you go on and do yours. Right? <laughs> well, the logic matters, though, man. So mine are all judged by the same logic. Okay. Yep. I don't care. Win's a win. Loss is a loss. Not all losses are the same. Not all wins are the same. Okay. Best wins in 
And if you're going to get in with losses, you got to have good losses. So my my 10th best team is Auburn. Auburn has lost two games on the road to Florida in Gainesville with game day on the road at LSU. Massive, massive opponents. Those are only two losses. They've got some decent wins. I think they're still in the top 10. Don't care that their offense looks bad. Don't, don't care. They won the game or they lost the game. Okay. Minnesota, undefeated. And and not a terrible strength of schedule. It's surprising, but but it 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 is what it is. Undefeated team. Got another couple one loss teams in here. Oregon, number nine, Georgia, number seven. Oregon's loss is the is the best loss out of this group right here that I just named off to Auburn in that neutral site in Dallas before the seasons are, I guess, technically week one of the season. And Georgia's loss, Georgia is in here because strictly because they beat the hell out of Florida, who I think is a pretty good team. And Georgia and, and has the talent, but they have the worst loss out of all the one-loss teams that are competing for this thing. They've got the worst loss. They worst, They lost to a team that, that's probably not going to make a bowl game, the third-string quarterback of that team. <laughs> and and you can say, oh, well, their win expectancy was – their win expectancy was 99 before the game started. True. Oh, what the hell are we talking about? Anyway, that's why they're seventh. They're only seventh because they just drummed Florida. And yeah. and they've got the win over Notre Dame, which is still a good win. And it is. So they've got two big wins. Yeah. Got two big wins. Their loss is a hard pill for me to swallow. Six, I got Clemson. Clemson higher than Minnesota, but not a lot higher because the exact same thing. They have – very, they have no good win, but they haven't lost anybody. So that's that. Okay. Then we got number five, Baylor. I've got Baylor ahead of Clemson strictly because Baylor's wins are better than Clemson's. They just are. Iowa State is a big win. Um, um, Texas Tech, good win. Like they've got, they don't have the best wins. They don't have Texas and Oklahoma yet. Kansas State is a play them. Yeah, Baylor destroyed State. Kansas State. That's right. Oh yeah, look in, how good in Manhattan. State. They, they beat them up on the road. Four, Bama. Bama hadn't really played anybody. This is the this is the only outlier in, in all of my logic as to why they're so high. Their strength of schedule should actually have them below Baylor. But I, I've got them at four. That'll get worked out in the wash when they play LSU. I, that's fine. Three, Penn State. Penn State has big wins. Penn State has no losses. Um, they're, they're a really, really, really good football team, and, and I don't – I said, I don't care that their offense is stagnant sometimes and not great. It doesn't matter. None of that matters. Do they win the game? Do they lose the game? Then I've got Ohio State, LSU, 2-3. That's it. Ohio State blowing people out. They're, the best win on Ohio State's schedule was Wisconsin. And they beat the hell out of who we're kind of seeing come back down to earth a little bit. And, and Cincinnati, who had to have a last-second field goal to get by ECU last yes. night. So, yes. Let's, let's be real careful. And then LSU has the best resume in all of college football. Plus, they have disgusting numbers to go along with that resume that there's no reason why they shouldn't be one. Now, you, you've got a very, very valid point. So, the top ten, of course, once we get into November, it tends to figure itself out. So, Penn State, Ohio State will play one another. Alabama, LSU will play one, one another. Auburn is going to play Georgia and Alabama still. Yep. So, so, yes, we're going to get some of these things figured out, but Clemson's still not going to play anybody. I mean, literally, Wake Forest will be the only ranked team they play the entire year. Yeah, and and they will be you know, top 25. That's if Yeah. Uh, Penn State will get to play Minnesota before they play Ohio State, so we'll right. see what Minnesota is. That'll figure that one out. You're so, right. I'm and then out. And Minnesota still has Wisconsin. That looks like it's actually going to be a pretty good ball game. Uh, and it's in Minnesota this year, so that's yeah. It's there's a lot of there's a lot of fun stuff going on here. I I cannot wait to see Oregon and Utah, who I've got in my top ten. Um, I that's going to be a fantastic Pac-12 title game if we can get there. If they yeah, both have one loss, but the Pac- the Pac-12 has just been so crazy. Yeah, yeah, it certainly has. So I mean, there's no telling. UCLA could easily beat Utah. Uh, Oregon could get caught by somebody. I don't I don't foresee it. Not at this point. They, they made it through the gauntlet, but I mean, you never know. You never know with these things. Thanks for checking out Winning Cures Everything. If you want to keep up with us, hit subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app.
visit the website at winningcureseverything.com, or you can like us on Facebook or follow us at Winning Cures, at Gary WCE, or at Chris B. Giannini on Twitter. Share out the show, leave a nice review, and make sure to comment and tweet at us.